I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the chemistry of sparklers. Okay, so sparklers actually combine a bunch of different chemicals so they work properly. So the first thing you need is some type of oxidizer. This is basically just a chemical that's going to burn up during our reaction. And a really common one is potassium chlorate. And the next thing that we could use, these are, and some of them are optional, you can switch them out, you can use both if you want to get a blend of colors, but a popular thing is aluminum flakes. So just shards of aluminum metal. Um, and then the last thing we need is really some type of fuel. So it could be sugar, it could be starch, anything that's just gonna burn once you light our sparkler. So the next step is to take our three ingredients and mix them all up into a big combination. And then we're going to add them to our metal strand right here. And so we can see once we do that, they're pretty spread out. And this is pretty important because you need a little bit of fuel next to all of your aluminum and potassium chlorate. You can't have all of your fuel because up here because it would just burn off and then this wouldn't react. Uh, so having this slurry, having this mixture is really important. And so when we actually light our sparkler with a spark, um, what happens is this breaks up into potassium chloride and oxygen gas, which lets off light. And our aluminum flakes will just heat up. And as they burn up, they're going to also let off light. And then our sugar or our starch, just our fuel, will just allow the whole thing to burn evenly all the way to the ground. And it'll be very exciting and bright. So as long as you have these three different types of things, your oxidizer, your fuel, something that's gonna let off big flashes, you're gonna have a successful sparkler. I'm Robin Higgins and this has been The Chemistry of Sparklers.